Okay, and now the second round. <laughs> Excuse me. South Dakota State versus Mercer. Not much to say here. South Dakota State's getting the easy dub. <laughs> Youngstown State versus <laughs> Villanova. Very interesting matchup here. I mean, Nova has the better record. They have the better point differential, but Youngstown State... They have they are in have a worse record, but that partially due to the fact that they're in the that's partially due to the fact that they're in the Missouri Valley Conference. So Villanova had they are a more proven team in terms of wins. Plus, like they face much tougher competition. Hell, they even something. They held their own against South Dakota, and they only lost by four scores to Ohio State of all teams, which doesn't really seem like that bad of a loss considering how good Ohio State is this year. I mean, their only other losses was to like Northern Illinois and South Dakota State, who, well, like we already said, they're basically an FBS school playing in the FCS, so... Anyhow, I think it's going to be a close match, but I think Youngstown State is going to pull out the dub. Albany-Richmond. Okay, very interesting matchup here. Albany, like, I mean, a yes, a colonial showdown between two really good teams in the FCS tourney. And Albany... Uh, and Albany, despite being ranked 15th, they got they got an interesting resume here. Like, yes, they lost the. I mean, yeah, they beat William and Mary, who is kind of decent this year. And of course, they they almost beat Marshall, and they only lost by two scores to Hawaii. So yeah, even though their losses, they almost seem like wins, depending based on who they are facing. And let's see their head-to-head -head against... Did they face Richmond? No, they didn't. I don't think they faced Richmond in their division. So I'm, I'm going to... Richmond. Oh, Richmond does have a game against the FCS goal. It was a loss to Michigan State. And plus, they also have a loss to Morgan State, which is, I think, not a... Just looks bad on their resume. But anyhow, I think Albany's taking the dub here. Southern Illinois versus Idaho. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being an upset here. I mean, yes, I do think Idaho has looked impressive this year. I mean, they blew out Nevada, and they only lost by two scores to California. But, however, they haven't looked too good against teams in the tourney. So, yes, they beat Sacramento State, but they lost a close one to Montana, and they lost, and, and they barely beat Montana State. So, yeah, I mean, they, like I said, they're some big sky con. They look pretty good in their big sky conference. I mean, they have one of the better point differentials. But the problem here is their defense is not as good as Southern Illinois. And Southern Illinois has arguably faced tougher competition. Plus, they have the fifth best defense out of anyone in the tourney despite their competition. So, I don't think there's much of a fear factor there when it comes to Idaho. I mean... So I think due to their how battle tested they are over Idaho, I think Southern Illinois is pulling off the upset here. <clears throat> South Dakota versus North Dakota. Yeah, I don't think there's much to talk about here. South Dakota has looked like one of the best teams this year, and I'm picking them. <clears throat> Montana State versus North Dakota State. I think this really boils down to who is more battle-tested here. I think 
who has done better against tougher competition. I mean, like I said, North Dakota State, on paper, they have a better resume, but Montana State... They have looked better when the chips are down. Like I said, North Dakota State, they haven't, they struggled against North Dakota, they struggled against South Dakota State. While Montana, I mean, yes, they have, they have a win over Sacramento State. Now, win over Sacramento State, they've narrowly lost to South Dakota State, and they looked a lot better than North Dakota State did. And like I said, they, Barely lost on the road to Idaho. So, anyhow, I do think, plus I can, yeah, so even in the losses, Montana State looked better, so I'm picking them. <clears throat> like, sorry, this video's taking a while, so. Furman versus Austin Pay. Furman has looked like a top three school all year until their loss, and, and I think, <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, I'm just going to pause this again. And my voice is going away here. So yeah, Furman, until they're lost, they have looked like a top three school dominating their opponents until they're lost to Wofford. So anyhow, I'm taking Furman. Montana versus Delaware. Not much to talk about here. Montana has looked dominant all year. Other than their loss to Northern Arizona, plus they face tougher competition, so it's pretty easy. I mean, Montana beating Joe Biden's alma mater. <clears throat>